Amen. Praise God. Those who are able to stand at the reading of God's word, I want you to stand now. The depths of the New Testament, the gospel recorded by St. Luke, 17th verse. One simple verse, verse 15, the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 17, and one verse of scripture, verse 15. We do give praises to God who is the head of our life. We honor these men and women of God who serve us in ministry. We do honor our deacon ministry, our deacon chairman, deacon Alder Willis, to our mother of our church, Mother Hawkins, and to our wonderful first lady, Amen. Sister Cynthia Amen. Hawkins. Give God a hand praise to our first lady. 17 and verse 15. It reads thusly. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Verse 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was made whole, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And I need you to look at your name and not be shamed, not be too cute, be serious. As you take your seat, repeat these words after us if you will. When praising God, praising God. comes a priority. Comes and you can say for me. For me. Now if you know that, amen. you all say amen. 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 God bless you. When praising God comes a priority. For me. My brothers and sisters, we must understand, in the words of the Apostle Paul, Romans 8 and 28, one of the most quoted verses of Scripture throughout the entire Bible. For we know that all things work together for good. For them who love God and who are the call according to his purpose. You and I must understand everything that God allows in his permissive will. It happens for our good. You lost loved ones and you didn't even know how you were going to make it through the service. But God helped you through it. And you live through it. So you can tell somebody else who's experiencing the same thing you walked through. That God helped me. Even when I didn't think I could say goodbye to my mother. Somebody's been there. You had to say goodbye to loved ones, even children, and nobody understood what you were going through. But God let you go through it so you could live and tell about it. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I would not have made it. You even lost your job the place of a power employment where you go every week uh, to provide for your family. And sometimes God will let you lose stuff that you love so dear so you can fall not in love with them or it, but you can fall in love with him. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. He will let you lose some stuff so you can really find out who it is that you can trust when you need it. And if you have not been through anything, you cannot really be an effective witness. You've got to go through some stuff. So God can prove to you that is not, you're not alone. That he will be with you every step of the way. 
you will lose some so-called friends who will hang around with you and then try to run you down. But even folk that mistreat you, thank God for the mistreatment because it helped you get closer to God because if they had not run you down, you would not pray like you pray. You would not trust God the way you trust. So we'll let you go through some stuff that when you come out, you're not bitter, but you are better. And you were stronger than you were before you went through it. And after you go through all of that, it's synonymous to have praise in all. And when you go through so much stuff, it's going to do one or the other. It's going to help you look at things different. You're going to look at things different and you're going to say, I'm not going to complain, but I'm going to put God's priority in place. I'm not going to look at my enemies with a dark, dim perspective. But I'm going to say, God, even through all of that, I learned how to praise you more earnestly because praising God is in honor. And before I go any further, let me tell you what praise is. Praise is an outward expression of an appreciation for a holy God. Everybody just keep praising. I mean, we got folk can put on some shows. We got some folk who can act like they're praising God. But really, praise is not how you feel. It's how God can make you feel under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Praise and sincere praise is when you can say, God, I don't know why, but I know it's working for my good. And that brings us to our text. Jesus now have left Nazareth. The place where he has, where he was raised up. And he moved his headquarters from Nazareth to Capernaum, which is known as his Galilean ministry. His Galilean ministry, calling the Petrus Bonhoeffer, the great theologian, was the place where Jesus done the majority of his miracles. You can trace all four synoptic gospels. And you will walk away understanding that the majority of the master's ministry was centered around the Sea of Galilee. The late Tiberius, the late Genesaret, or the Sea of Galilee. Jesus has been moved by the Holy Ghost. He has done much miracles. He's already turned the water into wine. He has already let Peter walk on the water. He has already done so much that fame has spread about our Judea and Samaria. About this son of the Most High God. His popularity has been so profound that Jesus even turns to his disciples and asks his disciple named Peter, Will you follow me for the fish and the loaves? Many people were following Jesus not for what he meant to them. Many were following him like a whole lot of church folk. You come to church every morning, every Sunday morning out of routine and process. 